My name is Marilyn. I'm a targeted individual. And it is March 15, 2020, 3.01 p.m. I am tortured 24 hours a day. Okay? And I want to expose um, this tragedy of the coronavirus and um, the gang stalkers that are torturing me uh, from the west side of Dayton, Kettering, Ohio, and different towns um, <clears throat> in Montgomery County in Ohio. Now, I have a job and I have to stay away from my job because of the coronavirus. And I would have gone today, except my companion says that his life is more valuable than my job. And unfortunately, I believe him. And so I'm not going to have the income I had. And my gang stalkers are primarily black now and they are drug addicts they use cocaine and they use crack cocaine marijuana alcohol cigarettes PCP and probably other drugs prescription drugs they're pedophiles they're rapists they're stalkers they're dangerous and they're in synthetic telepathy torturing me now Ohio the governor, Mike DeWin, um, he's going to consider closing down bars and restaurants to not spread the virus in Ohio. Okay? Bars and restaurants. Now, if anyone's familiar with bars, it is a place where many drug addicts go. And um, good Americans, honest Americans who go to have um, an alcoholic beverage. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not illegal. Unfortunately, my gang stalkers are alcoholic drug addicts. And not only are they going into these bars delivering drugs, these black men, they are going door to door, handing off bags of cocaine that they have handled uh, with other people. They're not sanitary. And they're handling bags of crack cocaine, distributing it. Uh, amongst the, the um, addicted community and Kettering and Dayton and other places and in the in the midst of a pandemic they are not going to consider the health uh, of the community primarily because they're um, psychotic um, gang stalkers and if you're not familiar with gang stalking you can google it if you're not familiar with targeted individuals, which would be me, you can Google it. And a good website to go to would be Targeted Justice. Now, in r and synthetic telepathy, I'm being tortured by people who are crack addicts. And so they're paid with drugs to torture me. And I'm often tortured more to get more drugs. So what they do, and particularly this gay um, male... He's a black man um, in his 50s. He has AIDS and gonorrhea. He's living now with Natasha Williams in a crack house, uh, an apartment that Michael Warden and Charles Avery did live in, and many other gang stalkers live in this building. They recruit gang stalkers who are um, crackheads because they are really good at torturing people and they do it for less. <clears throat> So this Sodomite has AIDS, and he has gonorrhea, and he's living with a welfare mother who's a gang stalker. They're both torturing me and looking at each other and living with each other. And they're unclean. They're sharing each other's crack pipe, and they're going out into the public to interact with the people of uh, Dayton, Ohio, and the Salem Avenue area and the west side of Dayton. So they're going to spread the coronavirus. They're not clean. They're not going to be washing their hands. I know that's for a fact. Uh, the drug dealer is not clean. He, none of these people are clean. Your gang stalkers are not clean people. Okay, so they are, for the most part, if you're hearing synthetic telepathy, you're probably listening to somebody who's a drug addict and um, who's probably going to spread the coronavirus. 
So they are going to contribute to murdering the people of the state of Ohio in our country. And we have to put an end to this and we have to stop it. I contacted the Bureau of Criminal Investigations, the Sheriff's Department, uh, and I've, uh, I've um, contacted many other people and, and spread the word that the gang stalkers are going to spread the coronavirus through the drug trade. So the drug trade itself is a way to spread this deadly uh, flu virus. So I, if I, you, if you were a drug addict, I would stop. You don't know who's handling it. You don't know the last person that drug dealer saw. He's not washing his hands every time he goes into his car and gets out to deliver drugs to the next person. They're getting into cabs, Anton's cab service, to deliver drugs. They're spreading the, the virus to the cab drivers. They're spreading the drugs in the bars and the liquor stores. <clears throat> These black gang stalkers who are torturing me in Dayton, Ohio, in Kettering, Ohio. Okay? It is, it is a tragedy. And that these black men and black women would rather torture me, ruin my life, and spread the coronavirus and God knows what else, than to just simply just go away. Okay? Leave the public alone. Leave me alone. Get out of my life. Get out of my home. Stop viewing me. Stop looking through my eyes. Stop stalking me. Stop the stupid dreams. These stupid, mod these modified dreams by crackheads that the government has crackheads handling my brain. I have brain damage. Uh, I was forced to vomit at work repeatedly. Made to look sick. Now they think I have the flu when I don't. Um, my throat is damaged. I've been vomiting blood. Not because I have the coronavirus. But because the, the gay gang stalkers, these two black men, and Michelle Miller, who's basically choking and gagging me. Michelle Miller, Natasha Williams, um, the two sodomites, Reggie, Randy, I think their names are. Uh, other Dara Washington, and, and a new gang stalker, um, Ronnie Wilson, I think, and Reggie. <coughs> you're vomiting blood, you might have tuberculosis, you might have cancer, you might have multiple diseases. I suggest strongly, and you're still going to die, go find out what's wrong. If you're vomiting blood, you really need to see a doctor. Okay. Yelling at, at and doing recordings of fish is the height of stupidity. Okay. Unfortunately, that is uh, my friend. He doesn't believe that we're targeted. Uh, and unfortunately, um, my targeting is because these gang stalkers like to choke me constantly and make me gag. And they uh, stop my breathing and uh, I'm constantly uh, choking. Uh, they simply just mind control me to choke. They just say choke. Um, so, he, that, that is a good person that just spoke, and uh, he does not believe that we're targeted, and that's unfortunate, um, so be it. So, anyway, um, the coronavirus and the drug trade and gang stalking, that the gang stalkers are actually going to um, put our lives in danger for their, you know, their compulsive need to, to, to bother us. Okay, and to interact with us. And I don't think the, the best thing right now is to stay inside. I think getting fresh air is good. You know, sit on your porch, sit in your backyard, um, to go for a walk. Okay, uh, you're supposed to be six feet from people. You can wear rubber gloves. You know, wash your hands, take care of your hygiene as a TI, as a human. Um, these people are sharing. Uh, drugs with each other, these gang stalkers, and they're torturing me. 
and they're spreading the virus uh, amongst the community and that's the video I wanted to make. And as I'm being tortured right now, I want to say that, uh, you know, for any of the people that are suffering uh, from the coronavirus, um, our prayers are with you. God bless you. I hope you get well. I hope uh, they come up with a, um, a solution to this problem. And I hope it ultimately for TIs that the gang stalkers, that this program stops. Um, God help us after this pandemic that we, we still get gang stalked. Wouldn't that just be tragic?